The Israeli military released video on Sunday purporting to show an underground Hezbollah compound found by its troops in southern Lebanon. The IDF claimed it had uncovered the network of tunnels, rooms and stored weapons under a cemetery. The army added it had filled in the compound with concrete. Hezbollah began firing rockets into northern Israel the day after Hamas' surprise attack into Israel on October 7, 2023 ignited the war in Gaza. Hezbollah and Hamas are both allied with Iran. For nearly a year, the conflict was mostly contained to the areas along the border between Israel and Lebanon. The conflict dramatically escalated on September 23 with intense Israeli airstrikes on south and east Lebanon as well as Beirut's southern suburbs, leaving hundreds dead and leading to the displacement of nearly 1.2 million people. Israel began a ground invasion of south Lebanon on October 1, causing wide destruction in border villages but making little territorial advances. Israel says it is destroying Hezbollah weapons and command centers near the border, including an extensive tunnel system built by Hezbollah. Also Sunday, an Israeli airstrike killed at least 23 people including seven children in Almut village north of Beirut, far from the areas in the east and south where Hezbollah militants have a major presence. Lebanon's health ministry said another six people were wounded. There was no Israeli evacuation warning. Israel has struck deeper inside Lebanon since September, when it killed Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah as well as most of his top commanders. Hezbollah has expanded its rocket fire from northern to central Israel. The fighting has killed over 3,000 people in Lebanon, according to the health ministry, and more than 70 people in Israel. South Korea's military said North Korea disrupted GPS signals from border areas for the second straight day on Saturday, affecting an unspecified number of flights and vessel operations. Tensions between the rival Koreas have escalated as North Korean leader Kim Jong-un flaunts his advancing nuclear and missile program and engages in electronic and psychological warfare, such as flying thousands of balloons to drop trash and anti-South Korean propaganda leaflets in the South. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said North Korean operations to manipulate GPS signals were detected from around the western border city of Kaesong and the nearby city of Haiju on Friday and Saturday and said the activities disrupted dozens of civilian aircraft and several vessels. While warning aircraft and vessels near western border areas, South Korea's military did not specify how North Korea was interfering with GPS signals or detailed the extent of the disruptions. We urge North Korea to stop GPS interference provocations immediately and strongly warn that it will be held fully accountable for any resulting consequences. The South's Joint Chiefs said in a statement, North Korea's GPS signal disruptions and balloon campaigns highlight the vulnerability of South Korea's Incheon International Airport, its main transportation gateway, analyst Sukjun Yoon recently wrote on the North Korea-focused 38 North website. The airport, which carries 56 million people and 3.6 million tons of cargo annually, is less than 100 kilometers from North Korea. No major aviation incidents have resulted to date, but GPS interference can endanger commercial airlines flying in poor visibility, and it is a violation of international conventions on navigational safety, Yoon wrote. He said that in 2024, North Korean trash balloons halted the airport's runway operations 12 different times for a total of 265 minutes. Kim has shown more hostility this year towards Seoul's conservative government. South Korean officials say North Korean activities to disrupt GPS signals 
from western border regions increased as the country began launching trash-carrying balloons toward the South in late May, which the North described as a retaliation against South Korean civilian activists flying anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets across the border. A recent failed Russian assault northeast of Sivesk near Bilohorivka prompted outrage from some Russian ultra-nationalist mill bloggers over Russian command failures and the pervasive Russian military culture of exaggerating battlefield successes. Russian z -War correspondents are already blaming the Russian Defense Ministry command for this, which allowed major losses during the offensive in the Bilohorivka area. Russian war correspondents claim that the commander of the 123rd Motorized Brigade gave the order to the 1st, 2nd and 3rd Motorized Battalions, as well as the 4th Tank Battalion, to conduct a frontal attack on the Ukrainian Armed Forces positions in the Bilohorivka area. ISW analysts gave a description of those events. The offensive was launched on November the 2nd, when the enemy, without adequate fire support, advanced on the positions of Ukrainian forces. Z-War correspondents emphasized that the offensive itself was not only unsuccessful, but also led to large losses in both personnel and military equipment. Russian war correspondents have once again repeated their criticism that the main thing for the command is to create beautiful reports for the Russian Ministry of Defense, attaching to them false maps with achievements on the battlefield. Field commanders send false reports to the Russian Ministry of Defense in order to secure promotions at the expense of the lives of Russian military personnel. The Russian Ministry of Defense had claimed in late October 2024 that Russian forces had seized Serebryanka just west of Bilohorivka and Russian mill bloggers may have been referring to this claim in their critiques. Bilohorivka is a particular sore spot for the Russian ultranationalist community because Russian forces have impaled themselves on assaults to take the settlement since at least May 2022. The Russian military command most notably launched a catastrophic river crossing to take Bilohorivka in May 2022 that failed resulting in significant Russian armored vehicle losses. ISW recently observed elements of the 5th Motorized Rifle Brigade fighting in the Kurakov direction. A Russian mill blogger claimed that Russian deputy commander of the sniper platoon of the 88th Hispaniola Volunteer Brigade, Pavel Alexandrovich Apalkov, nicknamed Joker, was killed in combat in the Chasiv Yar direction.